Hi you guys, my name is Carly and I want to share with you what I'm packing for 11 days in Peru. So I have everything organized into categories right now, which you can't see because it's out of the frame. But it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm waiting on clothes in the dryer right now. So clothes are gonna go last. So I have several things that are basically the same purpose, but um, they're not the same items. Like for example, I have a menstrual cup that I'm taking. I never travel without that. And because I am expecting to need feminine products, I'm also taking some disposable pads that are completely biodegradable and organic and all that. I have a matte laundry bag for my dirty laundry while I'm there. I actually have a small cosmetic bag of makeup that I'm taking, like uh, I'm gonna take probably some eyeliner and uh, an eyeshadow and a blush, and, you know, just some really basic stuff. But that's in my bathroom because I'm using it in the morning. So here's mascara. This is the one makeup thing that I have to show you. I'm taking a powder toothpaste for my carry-on bag in case my checked bag gets lost because, you know, the one time I don't take toothpaste, my checked bag will get lost and then I will have a gross mouth for like 11 days. One whole razor because I'm probably going to the beach at some point and I just don't need to shock the locals with my legs. <laughs> I already have my liquids packed up in this bag for my carry-on and it's just some sunblock. Um, this container is actually coconut oil. You can't tell because it's like a moisturizer jar. I have Dr. Bronner's soap in here. That is going to be really good as shampoo in case, again, in case my checked bag gets lost. But I can also use it to clean out like my mini blender that I'm taking, which I'll show you in a minute and why. And I have a couple of really small sample size shampoo and conditioners in there. Baby wipes, I always take baby wipes. I always take disinfecting wipes when I travel because I like to wipe down everything when I get into my seat on the plane. And this trip is no exception. I am still disinfecting all of the surfaces, all of them. I have my matcha, this is an all over moisture stick and I really like this under my eyes where it gets super dry. And for those of you who have flown a few times before, you know airplanes are very dry. If you're not dehydrated and dry and itchy when you get on the plane, you are when you get off the plane. So I'm taking this and I'm gonna just rub this on under my eyes, you know, these little spots that wanna get wrinkly. I'm putting this on on the plane, not even embarrassed about it. I do have one makeup brush that I'm gonna take. It's actually dual ended, so, you know, two purposes for the size of one. Deodorant, that should not have to be said, but I am taking it. Baby powder, keep my feet nice and dry. Bug spray, I don't know if I'm gonna be going anywhere that needs bug spray, but I'd rather not find out the hard way that I needed it. Um, this is actually shampoo, but um, it's gonna go in my checked bag because this only has one purpose, my hair, and the Dr. Bronner soap has like a thousand purposes, so that's gonna go in the carry-on. And I have my travel toothbrush in its little container, obviously in my carry-on. And I have a large microfiber towel because I can't do laundry a whole lot while I'm there. This will dry quickly. I'm also taking laundry supplies because I'll be there 11 days. I'm gonna do laundry. I have my laundry powder, color catchers so I can wash everything together and nothing will bleed on each other. And of course, a laundry bag for any delicates that I, I'm worried about getting snagged on something. I'm also taking a whole bunch of cloth tissues because I have allergies and I like to use them for that. I can also use them um, with coconut oil to remove my makeup in the evening. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One thing that I bought for this trip that I never ever use when I travel is an eye mask. And I couldn't even tell you why I never used these, but I thought, you know, this is gonna be a really long travel day and coming home is gonna be a really long travel day. I'm just gonna break down and do this. I'm gonna wear it on the plane. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually sleep. I don't know if I'm gonna like be comfortable having my eyes shielded from what's around me because I'm a very alert traveler, but I have it and I have the option for it now. 